What's up guys, M Scott Studios here and today we have Mail Day which is a new thing that I've bought to M Scott Studios because I've had a few packages in I've ordered some stuff from Music Magpie you can see there so I'll get into this one first uh, and there we go <laughs> I've ordered three films, and you can see there's a very big collection there as well. Um, which two very good films actually first, uh, so I've ordered Pixels, um, which is actually a very decent film in itself. Um, it's age uh, 12 rated by the BBFC, um, it's just uh, pinged out there a little bit. Um, yeah, this, this is uh, ordered from Music Magpie. Uh, and you'll see um, 12 rated by BBFC, uh, infrequent moderate sex references, implied uh, strong language as well. Um, so you guys can see there, it's a very good film actually. I, I've seen it once before with my mum, uh, it was decent, so I thought to get it. And also this one, I watched, um, I, I was either at college or it was my last year of school, I can't remember when I watched it, but it's this. The Boy in the Striped Pajamas, um, and it's it's a very good film. It actually highlights um, what was actually those problems with the um, weather. Well, we all know there were problems, but with the um, Nazi regime, we all know that the Nazi regime was very much evil, actually. Um, but yeah, so this is from Miramax Films, a studio that had brought you the Academy Award-winning *Life Is Beautiful* best foreign language film, 1998 comes boy, the boy in the striped pyjamas, bored and restless in his new home, Bruno, an innocent and naive eight-year-old, ignores his mother and sets off on an adventure into the woods. Soon he meets a young boy and a surprising friendship develops. Set during World War II, based on the best-selling novel um, by John Boyne, um, this remarkable and inspiring story about the power of the human spirit will capture your heart and engage your mind. Um, so it's a... Uh, Basically, his dad, the main protagonist in this, is, which is him, his dad is actually a Nazi. Um, and uh, basically what happens is that um, he develops a friendship with this boy who's actually Jewish. Um, and actually is the, um, the naivety comes through when, uh, the, uh, when um, the kid makes friends with him and it's like he doesn't really know what's going on. Um, and... Uh, so um, and it turns out he's a Jew that's been locked away in a concentration camp um, but it is a very compelling story in itself so I do suggest you, if you guys can watch it do watch it because it's a very good film and also I have another one here uh, which is just another one, one film I ordered which I thought was actually quite a good film for its time which, which is this one which is Attack of the 50 foot woman. Um, it's a very, and it's like, oh, it's actually still in its packaging. Um, but yeah, it was a very good film actually for its time. Because um, I believe this was, yeah, 19, it's in the late 90s, this film. Um, and uh, for its time, it was very well put together for its time. Now it'd be a bit, um, but for its time, it was a very good film. So that's one reason why I did order it. It was very cheap on Music Magpie as well. So, and it's a bit less hassle than like going because I think I looked to see if it was in CEX because I think it is 50p at CEX. But the closest uh, one that's got in stock is Southampton. So I thought against it uh, and just ordered it from Music Magpie because it'd just be easier. And I'd wait a couple of days for it, so it wasn't really that much of an issue. Um, and also the delivery was free, so <laughs> why not? Um, but yeah, um, that is it for this mail day guys, um, I do hope you guys did enjoy this video, please do smash that thumbs up button and subscribe, um, and also I'll see you guys next time, uh, we will also be doing some more music, uh, like film reviews, so I will be really working my way through some of these films, because uh, most of these are from actually from CEX, most of them are like the uh, 50p films. Uh, from CEX, so I decided to go over and just grab a couple of films, really. 
Um, and also I did have like 40 quid for, uh, from a friend that I sold them some PS4 games so I decided you know what, buy a shit ton of DVDs <laughs> and I did because um, I do enjoy watching films actually it's, it, it passes time and then like I say if you have some mates around we just have a film night uh, and then we've got masses of, sort of choice to go through like what we can watch, what we might want like you know anyways, anyway yeah that's all from me now thank you guys for watching this is M Scott Studios signing off